Welcome to DIY Guitar Making, episode number 53, brought to you by Eric Schaefer Guitars. To learn more about my premium guitar making courses, visit ericschaeferguitars.com. This guitar needs a partial refret, so I'm going to take this opportunity to show you how I heat up the frets and walk them out with a set of nippers. This is the proper way to remove a fret and avoid chip out on the fretboard. First I clean the gunk from the fretboard with 4 aught steel wool and naphtha, just so that I have a clean point of entry for the nippers along the edge of the frets. I plug in my soldering iron and make sure it is clear of other objects while it heats up, especially the guitar. The nippers I use are the ones on the right. Notice how the face of these nippers are ground flat and the teeth of the nippers taper to a finer point than the ones on the left. The nippers on the left would work, but not as well and I'm more likely to get some kind of chip out using them. Okay, the iron is hot enough now to vaporize water. So let's get started. I begin by moving the iron slowly back and forth along the fret. This will warm and loosen any glue in the fret slot. A variety of glues can be used in the fret slot. Tight bond, cyanoacrylates, hide glue, and sometimes no glue at all. Either way, I heat the fret. Even in the case of no glue at all, it helps to warm the surrounding wood so that you don't get chip out on the board when you release the fret tang. I check the fret with my bare finger to see if it is holding its heat. It feels hot, but the heat dissipates away quickly after I move the iron away. So I need to continue heating in this manner until the fret feels hot and stays hot. This can take a while. Okay, now the fret is holding its heat. Now I shift my focus to the very end of the fret. I very carefully bite down with the nippers so that they wedge underneath the fret crown. And then I walk the fret forward a little bit and do the same thing. It may look like I'm kind of yanking up on the fret a little bit, but I'm not. I'm really just shimmying the nippers forward. I never pull up on the fret. It may be tempting to just yank it out at this point. Don't do that. Walk the fret out from end to end with the nippers, maintaining heat on the area just ahead of the nippers. The wedging action of the nippers alone will pull the fret out. And so the fret is removed cleanly without any chip out on the fretboard face. So that's it. After I pull the other four frets, I'm going to refret those fret slots and give this guitar a new life. For more videos like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel here. But remember, not every episode of DIY Guitar Making is a video. I like to write too so some episodes are written articles. For a full archive of episodes, go to my website, ericschaeferguitars.com. Click the DIY Guitar Making tab, and you will find page after page of detailed guitar making tips. You can also subscribe to the email list to receive episodes in your inbox as they come out. Just enter your name and email and click sign up now. It's free. While you're there, you can also click the Online Guitar Building School tab and check out the online course, Building an OM Acoustic, with more than 60 detailed instructional videos, discounts to luthier suppliers, and access to myself and a community of builders in the members forum. Finally, if you go to the Hands-On Guitar Building School tab, you can check availability and register for an intensive hands-on workshop with me in Burnville, Pennsylvania. That's all for now. See you later. <laughs>